Torts, if you had to assess uh, Thomas Vanek's impact on this team, not just goals and points and that type of thing, but since he got here, it, just assess what he has done for this team. Yeah, he's a, he's a, a veteran guy uh, um, that brings a, a great presence offensively, uh, has kind of uh, jump-started us offensively, but also the, the communication uh, with the young guys, uh, uh, just, just how he's fit in. Uh, in a situation where people are wor worried about what's going to happen if Vanek goes there. Uh, um, he, he has fit right in, and, and I just think he understands, uh, especially with the injury to Nick now, uh, the importance of him on the ice. And uh, Everybody talks about his three goals, but I watched him, especially in the second half of that game, uh, do some great things away from the puck too. So he's a good player. And he's had a tremendous impact on us. And going into what you hope you're going into, the, the impact of a player like that is immeasurable, I would get, imagine. Yeah, I'm not talking about we're not there. I'm, I'm talking about what, what he's doing for us right now. I hope he does it again tonight. I knew he gets the big uh, extension today. How fortunate do you feel, as much as that position has changed in the back end, to have so many guys that are mobile and can move the puck and can play the way that today's game needs yeah. to be played? He's one of them for sure, but you get a lot back there. Yeah, total different game. Uh, I, I think Nudie's probably playing with the highest level of confidence that I've seen him since he's been with us. Uh, he's healthy. Um, he, he's good for us in the room. He's got a great personality. It's a really good contract for him, and it's a good contract for us because he is, he is moving. He's going this way. You can see him getting better and better. Uh, so who knows where he is as, as we keep on going through the years here. But... Uh, 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 I've said it from the get-go. I want him in that lineup because his first pass is one of the better ones we have in getting us out of the end zone, and he's done that. He came out of nowhere last year. Do you have a sense of what his ceiling is yet as, I don't, a, as a player? I don't. I don't want to predict it because I, I just think there's so much more. Yeah, um, yeah and so he has uh, – uh, he, he's just he, – he, he, there's not much maintenance to him. Uh, you, you, you tell him what you're looking for. Remember, last year he was east-west. It, it drove me crazy. He made so many D to D plays. He, you don't see that much in that in his game anymore. He's very coachable. He, he's a smart guy, and he's young. and uh, uh, And he he can he can skate. He can pass. And he's beginning to find the net. So, which is very important for us. He said earlier this year that uh, a key thing for him, anyway, was that he wanted to make the team out of camp, training camp. Yeah. Didn't make the team out of training yeah. camp. And he's pissed off. He's yeah. mad. You know, yeah. when he came back, when you guys called him back, did you see that in him that he was, you know, fired up to be here and, and to prove, you know, who he was? I, I, I didn't personally see it. I, I know, uh, I, I know it's a hard thing when you're, when you're not part of it. But I, I think the biggest bridge he's crossed is that that it, 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 he knows he belongs in the National Hockey League. He's not trying to make a National Hockey League team and try to survive it. Uh, he thinks he can be a difference maker and. That's a change in mindset for Nudie. Uh, and, I, and I think that's where his confidence has grown and, and where he has an attitude that I belong here. And I'm not just going to tread water. I'm going to make a difference. And he's done that. He can skate it out of the, the defensive zone, too. Oh, yeah. Right? Like, yeah. It's not just the pass. It, yeah. That's big. But. Yeah, and he's defended hard, too. Yeah. Not a big guy, still growing into his body. But he has defended hard and, and has learned uh, quite a bit as far as using his stick as a good defensive uh, uh, tool as far as breaking up plays and getting going offensively. So, yeah, he, he's been very consistent here in all facets of the game. John, what do you attribute to several of your veterans who've been struggling that have been able to really turn around guys like Cam, Boone, Wenny? Uh, it, it, it's them. You know, I, I can't point a finger on what happens. I, I think when you have a good game uh, and maybe another good game, it, it comes down to the confidence. These guys... Uh, it, it, it's a very important thing that they feel good about themselves. So uh, there's no one particular thing. There's no coaching involved in this. It, it's it's them finding their game and just feeling good about themselves. And uh, remember, we, we, we went through it. I went through it with you guys all year long. I know they're going to do it. I hope they're going to do it. When are they going to do it? And they have found a way to get things going in a very important time of the year. So I give them a lot of credit for uh, getting it situated as we as we go through this test here. I mean, as big as your um, acquisitions have been in the trade deadline, you needed those core oh, guys. Oh, God, yeah. Oh, to, oh God, yeah. Through. Yeah, yeah. It, it's been, you know, all of them. Wenberg. I mean, Wenberg, Cam, 
Uh, Nick Felina was struggling. Jens. And, and don't forget Murr. You know, Murr, Murr was a guy that wasn't sure if he was going to play. You know, you never knew what was going to happen with Murr. There was always something going on where he couldn't play. Uh, now he has stepped in and uh, uh, he's taken control of that position. So, yeah, it, it, uh, it, it's a really good thing to watch uh, uh, and when you see players kind of gather themselves and get things straightened out. As you click off the names, the team mindset, I mean, everybody is on the same page right now, which is exactly where you want them right now. You hope so. And the winning helps, Dave. Yeah. You know, you, uh, it, that always cures a lot of problems. Uh, uh, you got to be, you know, you got to be really careful because it changes quickly. And I'm always cautious. I, I do think we're in the right state of mind. Uh, I think the winning has helped us. I think our goaltending has been really good uh, and given us a chance to at least compete to try to get in. But we need to stay on top of ourselves. This is going to be a tough game tonight. Everybody's talking about all the guys that are out. They have a coach under fire here that I know that team loves playing for. There's a lot of different type motivations for that team to play here uh, with some of the stuff going on publicly. Uh, we need to be ready to play because things change very quickly in this league. Got a message you need to deliver or no? Oh, our, our players, I have a number of messages I'm going to deliver. I'm not going to tell you, yeah. but uh, <laughs> uh, there, yeah, I, we, we just need to, and, and we have done it. We, to this point, we have taken each day at a time. Uh, we just need to get ready to play our next game, and that's tonight against a team that's going to be very hard to play against. Do a lot of changes tonight? Uh, no, no, no. Bob and Nett.